Hello guys, it is me, Everything Technology. It's been quite a hot minute since I've last uploaded. Breath. Welp, I am back. Today, I'm going to be restoring my Dell E1705 back to its original configuration. We're going to be doing that now. Oh, I'll be back when I get the Dell Media Direct thing booted up. Okay, I got Dell Media Direct 3.3 working. I got the setup working. Let's see. Mm, press 1. Okay, I am so sorry about that. But we're going to do it again. Creating hard drive partitions. Okay, now I can unplug this thing. Because we don't need that anymore. And we have the original Media Center Edition 2005 ISO image on this drive. So let's plug this into the 2.0 ports. I took this I took this out so I could boot using the CD drive function on this thing. Okay, strike a key when ready. Boot with USB storage. This is technically just a Windows XP professional setup. Because if you know anything about Windows XP Media Center Edition, you know it's built on top of a professional. So feel free to skip through this whole Windows XP part unless you know you really want to see it because I'm assuming a lot of my older fans seen Windows XP be fully installed before <laughs> okay enter I've totally read through this look for the C partition NTFS file system I would I will return once this part is done. See you then. Bruh. I am back. We're now booting into Windows XP. It kind of takes a bit longer here. It's ready. I will return again once. I'll just keep it here then. Never mind. Windows XP Media Center Edition was a pretty interesting release. Sorry about that pause, I was just thinking of what to talk about. Yeah, I had like a Media Center program and everything. And with 2005, which is the version I'm installing, you got Microsoft Plus XP. I am back, some things happened. And I'm really sorry about that sound. So, yeah, it had all the plus features built in. And, you know, this thing has MediaDirect on it, which I plan on doing a video soon after I get it fully installed here. Just stay tuned for that. <coughs> I will return once it prompts me to start setting up stuff. Okay, now it's asking us to set up. Let's see. Next. Brady. 
let me type in the admin password. Just in case I need to run software as administrator. I will return again once this is ready. Okay, so it's asking to set up the network. Typical settings. This one's going to take a while again, so I'll return once this part is ready. Well, okay. Well, I'm not sure how to sidetrack anymore. <laughs> I'll probably find something to sidetrack sidetrack you guys about. Hmm. Let me think on this. Okay, I'll just like to sidetrack on this. Work anywhere, anytime. Windows XP professional features. Great improvements for the mobile professional. Windows XP enables you to connect wireless networking with your computer easy and secure so you can work where you want when you want and with windows xp wireless configuration is seamless and automatic additionally microsoft clear type technology dramatically improves the readability of lcd screens and of course windows xp professional features great plug and play support which plug and play was like I'll explain is a feature that is still available that is like you just plug in a device and it would install the drivers pretty much instantly and it would be ready to use pretty much after you plugged it in so let's mm, your computer can be now a complete easy to use communication center so it can stay connected to the people in your world. Windows XP Professional includes new real-time communications integrations so you can communicate with others through instant messaging services, voice and video. Plus you can show, built on the proven reliability of Windows 2000, Windows XP Professional offers features that improve the stability of your computer. We've added features like device driver rollback and an improved device driver verifier. We've enhanced features that protect important system files within the operating system from being deleted or replaced, which makes Windows XP the most reliable Windows ever. Well, technically the most reliable Windows for the time. Building on the security... Oh. Building on the security of Windows 2000, Windows XP Professional provides the latest technologies to help keep your data safe from unauthorized access. Windows Firewall helps protect your computer from intruders when it's connected to the internet. Built-in policies also protect your computer from certain types of email viruses, such as the I love you virus, which I'll put a link down if you want to learn more about that. If you need to encrypt your data, Windows oh, Windows XP Professional provides accessibility features that make it easier for people to use computers. The accessibility wizard helps customize your computer screen, keyboard, and mouse to fit your needs. To make items on the screen easier to use, you can increase the contrast, enlarge the text, and have your mouse pointer leave a trail. You can customize keyboard options and replace computer sounds with visual alerts. Windows XP Inc. also includes basic utilities that allow you to magnify the screen or use an on-screen keyboard. Oh, I will, I'm going to return now when this is done. We are booting into from the hard drive from for the first time. This is when things kind of get interesting for... Windows XP, Dell reinstallation CDs. You got the cursor and everything? Please wait. 
To improve the appearance of visual elements, Windows will automatically adjust your screen resolution. And also, if you are watching this and like know me in person, you know I can kind of be talkative sometimes. But when I'm recording, like you, well, like I am right now, I'm not really as talkative. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, it's ready. Welcome to Microsoft Windows. Thank you for purchasing Windows XP. Let's spend a few minutes setting up your computer. I can explain things as you move along. Anytime you need help, just click me with the mouse or press the F1 key to continue. Click next. I'll be right here if you need me. I'm just trying to make this video longer. Help protect my PC. Turning on automatic updates right now. Of course. Okay. Brady. Thank you. This is around the interesting stuff. Welcome. Yeah, so I'm kind of just being silent throughout this video. I'm just, you know, a bit, you know, less talkative on camera than if you know me in real life. Oh, here's the different part. Installing applications. This is all normal for Dell CDs. Do not press any keys while the installation is progress. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm going to press a key. <laughs> this is going to take a while. I will return. I will return when this part is done. Okay, it did the installation thing, which took forever. So now I'll be able to, like, get everything else installed, such as Media Direct. In the drivers. <laughs> Which after this, I'm going to start. Mm, I'm going to do the drivers first. Which I'll pull up, but I'll do a time lapse of since that'll take a while. Welcome. And so if you hear bum, a lot of times. That's because the audio driver is never installed. So I'm gonna get this thing fully restored. Now it's setting everything up. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to use this to install MediaDirect and the drivers since you know this is rooted and I can use DriveDroid as a CD. Maybe I'll make a video on DriveDroid and stuff. It's ready. Let's see. I'm going to get this USB drive out, since I don't need it anymore. Excuse my bracelet, I'm just wearing it for a couple moments. I'll take care of, I'll, I'm going to get that closed, be right back. Oh, I'll take care of that later. So, I'm going to get the drivers installed. Go through here. Dell Resource CD ISO. 
I'll come back with, oh, I will come back with a time lapse. Okay, I am back. We don't need the Dell Resource CD anymore, but we're gonna need Dell Media Direct 3.3, which I showed you way earlier in the video. So let me get my drive droid thing ready. Get that out of the way. CD-ROM. This is gonna install. So we're gonna try install Media Direct Free. Oh, yeah, we can't do auto run. So where's Dell Kit? Then close everything. The installation will take several minutes. Please press Enter to start the installation. Initializing. Oops, install media direct. Sorry, I've just been quiet. Well, I'll be muting the audio in some parts, maybe. Oh, it's game the extractors for the MP601. So just slide it to its vein. I'm gonna stay quiet. I will return when I'm done with this. Okay, now I'm gonna get Dell Media Direct fully set up. You gotta shut the laptop down. I really apologize for the loud sounds. I'll be fixing that. Probably not in this, not on camera, but you know, I'll definitely fix it off camera. <laughs> okay, now you power it on with media to rest. Even has a special boot screen and everything. Ooh, even has a special logo. Bill, welcome to Dell Media Direct. 
building your Dell Media Direct file. The first time you initiate Dell Media Direct, it takes time to set up your Dell Media Direct files. After this initial use, Dell Media Start Direct starts up much more quickly. Okay, it's ready. Now that's it for this video, guys. Please subscribe, join my Discord server, which I'll be posting links to soon, and peace out.